Hey there folks, my name is Luke. Welcome to the Outdoor Gear Review. In my hands here, I have the Swiss Military Wool Blanket. Now this is a reproduction, and this comes from Swisslink. Just in case you don't know, Swisslink is one of my favorite military surplus providers. They have lots of gear, great prices, good folks. So with that being said, let's focus here on the blanket. This is a reproduction, and you may be wondering, why is it a reproduction? And that's very simple. The original Swiss military blankets, wool blankets, they are very hard to find. They're very expensive too. You can easily pay $160, $200 for one. Since they are so hard to find, Swiss Link went out and had their own blankets made. There are actually two different versions of this here. One that I call the lightweight version, and the other, this one here, I call the heavyweight version. The lightweight version is 3.9 pounds and it measures 80 inches by 60 inches. The heavyweight version comes in at 5.9 pounds and measures 84 inches by 60 inches. The heavyweight version is not only longer, but it's also thicker. Now with the Swiss Army blankets, they are incredibly popular because the quality was so good. And that has translated over to these reproductions here. The white crosses are hand sewn. The quality is excellent. The stitching on the sides perfect. With these blankets, they are very, very heavy, 5.9 pounds, incredibly tightly woven, very, very strong indeed. Also very warm. I have tested this blanket here down to roughly 50 degrees on a very humid night with lots of rain. That was with the Bushcraft Overnight Adventure with the Solar Eclipse. That was a ton of fun. And this blanket proved itself to be a terrific Bushcraft blanket. Now another aspect that makes this blanket so impressive is the price. For the heavyweight version, this is $32.99. For the lightweight version, that is $24.99. So what you're getting is a very good bang for the buck. A heavyweight, very warm, very thick blanket at a really, really good price. So I've spoken of the pros so far. What about the cons? Well, for one thing, this does come from a military surplus provider. So there is a military stink to this blanket. I would recommend washing this blanket by hand at home. And I would also recommend throwing in some wool softener, right? This blanket is a little bit scratchy for my liking, so I'm going to wash it and I'm going to soften the fibers. Very, very simple. You could do this in your tub. Some people will actually do it in their washer. I will personally wash this in the tub by hand and then let it air dry out in the sunshine. That will make it softer and it will get that smell out of this blanket. So folks, there you have it. That is the Swiss Army Heavyweight Blanket. You know, for a reproduction, this is really, really nice. I've seen plenty of reproduction blankets. Some are absolutely terrible. This one is not bad at all. It's only slightly scratchy, in my opinion. I think it needs a good wash. Definitely need to wash it to get the smell out because it smells like a piece of military surplus, which I kind of like, but my wife does not. <laughs> she doesn't like that odor at all. For the money, excellent piece of kit. If you guys have any questions for me, please email me. Until next time, strength and honor. See you guys.